Welcome to the Elizabethtown High School Football Preview Show, featuring head coach Tyler Mattingly. Sponsored by Lindsey Keith Alicna, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, and Give 270. Now, here is your host, Andy Gaines, and coach Tyler Mattingly. Good evening. Welcome to the HS Football Preview Show. We're live on site. We're pre-taping this week, but we're having a little Froshmore game tonight right. between uh, the Froshmore Panthers and Bullet Central, correct? Yeah, All they're right. the Cougars. The Cougars. That's so. right. The battle of the, battle of the cats. So, I'm, I'm Andy Gaines. I'm here with Coach Tyler Mattingly, and uh, we welcome you to uh, a pre-tape show. Uh, that's okay. We're, we're having fun this evening. It's a beautiful right. night. Uh, plus, we got a little bit of Halloween this week. We got we got lots of candy to I'm, give out, and you probably got a lot yeah, of trick or treating to do. Yeah, my, my two and four year old, they're pretty hyped up. I was going right to say. Now, so, what so. are we going as? Uh, we've got Cinderella or Cinderella, whichever one she okay. wants to talk about that day. And then um, we have he's changed it up quite a bit, but we are going to be a cop. Okay. So, well, SWAT team cop. We just actually. had a, we just had a cop here looking for somebody. <laughs> so <laughs> you know how we do it. There we go. Cut that one out. Girl. Yeah, there we go. No big deal. <laughs> so. Hey, coach, uh, played Cal this week. Yeah. Uh, very good, very good football team. Yeah. Um, tough loss. We did score late, uh, but just just talk about what. How, how do you how do you convey that message again to your kids after a senior night home loss yeah. to end the season here at the house? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a lot mm -hmm. of this stuff. I'm probably sounding like a broken record at this point, but it's a lot of the same stuff, right? I mean, you know. They're a really well coached football team, but yep. they're also really strong. Yep. They're really physical. Yep. Um, we don't have we don't have six six and two seventy yeah, five yeah. I mean, at right guard. Right, <laughs> but you know there's but, also there's ways to overcome that, sure. right? And so we have to focus on, and that's what we talked about in our Sunday meeting of, you know, all right, here's where we're at right now. Let's let's swallow that pill. What do we have to focus on? Right. And so, yes, you know we can we can you know scheme as much as we want, right. but until we have willing tacklers until yep. we have guys that want to get after it on the offensive line. It's Person really tough. to step up in the hole and hit the running back once Correct. it comes through the line. Correct. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, it's just we have to continue to, to, to evaluate that. And, you know, I told the kids yesterday part of that is, is as the head coach, I have to make sure that I am addressing that in practice. And I tell them, like, the accountability stuff is right. not going to drop. If anything, it's going to continue to right. rise because I continue to see what we have to fix. Sure, so sure. that's that's where we're at. So let's let's flip the script a little bit. Let's talk about some positives. Uh, yep. what, what positive things did you see come out of Friday night? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I do – like our – I told this to the reporter after the, the game. I thought our defense played a lot I better. Was, I figured that's where you they, were going to go. I was here for the first half. I was, yeah. I was pleased with how you got them off the field a couple of times. You made some good adjustments there in the first and second quarter and yeah. did some things that they they were trying to me they were trying to do some things because they were playing E Town maybe for one. Sure. But you all you all covered those things that they did well. Yeah, I mean I thought the things that we had worked on defensively, I saw it work. Right. Literally the three or four big plays that we gave up, you know, we weren't aligned right. So yeah. the but it's the progress though that I was really proud of. I thought, you know, we did do a lot of things. Um, right, so I think that that was a positive part, and then offensively, I mean, we didn't do anything well, right. and it wasn't because the plays weren't there. We just didn't execute our assignment. You know, yeah. I mean, we had two or three plays in that for those first two series that if if we just get a body on a body in some of those screens, we have we have 15 plus yards, and Correct. you want explosive. You know, the whole goal was is to create explosive plays on the outside right. in order to loosen them up, but we never were able to do that. Right. So, um, right. you know, I mean. It, Again, I think our young kids are starting to, to, to find their way. I think um, some of our older kids took a step last week in the, the leadership side of it. Yep. So we have to continue to find ways to progress that. Yep. Well, that's, that's good. So let's, let's, let's flip the script again. Let's talk about playoff expectations. Yep. Uh, what, does the, what does the playoff picture look, at, look like? I know we play Seneca on Friday night, but yep. what, what does the playoff picture look like? So we'll be heading to Garrett County, just like last year um, in the first round. Okay. Um, so they, they're the two seed in their, in their district. We're the three seed in our district. So we've already got the bus request in for that. So next, next Friday we'll go there and, um, you know, a really well, another well-coached team. Yep. Um, 
you know, a few of their guys on staff were, were at Bull County in those in the late 90s and early 2000s where they were really good. So yeah. really good staff, really tough team. I've, I've already watched a little film on them. Um, but I think it's it's a game that, again, if we can go execute at a high level, you know, we could have a chance. Right. Um, we got to focus on this week. You know, so, yeah, then, so we, we did. I did move forward a little yep, bit, but let's yep. come back. So we got Seneca at yep. Seneca Friday night. What do you know about Seneca? Yeah, um, of course, actually, five A. Yeah, yeah. I mean, five A, and and they've you know they've had some really good games this year. If I you mean, go and look at I their, looked at their, their schedule, scores, they got a lot yeah. of tight games. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, one of my really good coaching friends is the head coach there. We coach together at South Warren, and oh, so. Good. Him and I know each other really well, so you know I'm looking forward to that. We've been kind of talking a little bit a little back, smack, and forth. back and yeah. forth. That's good. I've asked him to set a few of his players. He's asked me to set a few <laughs> of my players. You know, just just some fun banter. But you, um, you know, he he does a great job with them. I think I think in a year or two, I think uh, Coach Davidson's going to have that that program where it needs to be good. at. But I mean, you're talking about when you turn on the film. I mean, they've got four or five guys that right. are just really explosive, and that's what I told our team at the end of today or at the end of practice today of. of I think we can go win this game, but we're going to have to play a clean game. You know, we're really trying to focus in on what do we have to do, what are our keys to victory. And so, you know, offensively, we've got to take care of the football. I think we've got to be able to run the football in order to set up th some of the past stuff, yeah. which we did not do a good job well, of cool. this week. So let's let's talk about these guys on the field. You yep. got some freshmen, some sophomores. We were talking before we got on camera. You may have a few stray eighth graders out here tonight, which yeah. uh, that group coming up next year is is got a lot of positives in it. So let's talk about this freshman and sophomore class on what you're seeing in games for these guys because they don't get yeah. to play a lot, but when they do get to play, you get to see some things. Man, I, I'm I think our young group has a lot of potential with um, with what we can really see in the right. in the near future. We've got 17 freshmen. We've got 30 incoming eighth graders. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's a that's um, incredible. So you know we're losing we're gonna be losing 17 but we're gonna be gaining Picking up 30. Correct. So yeah. our numbers should still stay where they need to be at. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so we've got to continue to build that mindset is the right. biggest thing. Um, so once we once we get to that part, it's going to be a great great group. Well, so. it's always it's always exciting to see the young kids come up, for and sure. I know for these eighth graders to get to come up and play with the older kids and that they know probably, but it's yeah. an experience to get to come and play on the high school field and play in a JV type atmosphere. So right. Uh, well, coach, good luck. Yeah. As always, thanks again. Appreciate it. Uh, Andy. Good luck Friday night against Seneca. Uh, we're going to go. If, we'll be. Uh, we're going to hear a few words from this week's offensive and defensive feature. It's been a great week. Good luck with Halloween. Go there get some go. candy. There, Don't there eat too go. much candy. That's, yeah, we're going right. to we gotta separate it out. There right? you go. Ration there you go. it out. Thanks, so, buddy. Thanks, Candy. Yep, appreciate it. Kentucky Farm Bureau, Lindsay Aligna, agent, is the 2024 title sponsor for the Elizabethtown High School football. We are so grateful for Miss Aligna's support and invite her to join us for media day and to see just how hip she is when it comes to our current slang. What is Riz? Hmm, that's easy. Riz means how I help my customers pick out the best plan for them. No more, no less. No, it means charisma. Exactly. <laughs> what does bussin mean? That's a good one. Bussin is the quality service the Kentucky Farm Bureau team provides. Real good service. Can you define cap? Yeah, cap means we don't lie. Something we don't do at Kentucky Farm Bureau. No cap. Our team will do anything for our customers. Miss Aligna, that was impressive. Thanks again for your support of the EHS football. As the title sponsor, you are the GOAT. Thanks. You may not be fluent in teenager, but at least you can have an insurance agent that speaks your language. Hey, it is Greg Milby, and we are focusing on the defensive side of the ball this week and Darian Bryant is with me here our defensive feature player of the week congratulations thank you big night against Cal eight tackles on uh, Friday night yes sir all right was, talk about it uh, it was a challenge they're a decent team obviously they're not a team that you can go out there and just mess around and bang up it was tough but you just gotta read your keys make sure you break down wrap around you get them to the ground it's really not that hard huh. so what grade are you in I'm a freshman <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. So we're as we're recording this on Tuesday for the for the show tonight. Uh, you're getting ready for the uh, what does it call it the Frosh Froshmore game? Is that what it is? Yes, sir. We're playing Bullet uh, Central. All right. So you play you play 
both Froshmore and varsity? Yes, sir. I play linebacker for varsity, and then I rotate in on offense, but mostly linebacker for JV, too. Okay, where did the love of football come from? I don't know, really. I grew up playing it Little League. I started about when I was five or six, and ever since I've been playing it. I never thought I'd get into it, but I went out there, started hitting, and I was like, I love it. And ever since then, I've never really gave up, kept going, make something out of it while I got it. So yeah. So what uh what is one of your favorite memories so far this season? I mean you're a freshman, so it's not like uh not like you had a, a ton of memories I'm sure yet, but uh talk about your, your favorite. Uh my favorite memory is probably uh our trick play. I think it's called cornbread. <laughs> we ran it against Bargetown. That was probably my favorite memory so far. There's not much like you said, so I, a lot more to come. Offensive side of the ball, what do you play? Uh fullback, running back. Okay, you like that then, huh? Yeah, I've always played that growing up, and then I came to, ever since like middle school, I've been a linebacker. They think that's where I'm going to go somewhere with at least. That's okay. my spot. All right, so Darian, what do you do outside of football? You know, what are your other hobbies? Um, Really just, I'm a gamer, I like the okay. game. Besides that, watching football, sleeping, it's a big one, obviously. <laughs> but really just football is what I do. Okay. So. So, uh, student athlete, that's what you are. We've talked about athletic, the athletic side of it all. Let's talk about the student side. How do you balance schoolwork and, the, and football practice? Um, I go in, I sit down, and I do what I need to get done. So, I ain't got to worry about it after school. You know, practice is after. So, going to school, get my job done, go to the next class, do the same thing, and come out here and practice until whenever coach says we're done and the rest of my day free. Well, congratulations on being our feature of the week. Thank you, sir. All right, this is Darian Bryant, again, freshman. Eight tackles this last Friday night, and uh, we'll see what he does tonight as we tape this in the Froshmore game and then on Friday night. So congratulations again, man. Thank you. Give270 is in the business of doing good for our community. The local nonprofit is uniquely positioned to quickly and efficiently translate the philanthropic spirit of individuals and our community into effective fundraising campaigns. Whether it be through fun weekly raffles or fundraising events like the Eric and Joe Show, Give270 is making a lasting impact on our community and region. Learn more about how you can help by visiting give270.org. In the meantime, mark your calendars for the Eric and Joe Show, presented by Magnolia Bank, November 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at the State Theater in Elizabethtown. A portion of this year's proceeds benefit Hope Academy for Kids. Hey, once again, it's Greg Milby. Welcome in to the Offensive Feature of the Week. Take one, Talzin. Hey, take one. Hey, how are you? You spend more time on this thing than I do. I mean, I try to. I try. <laughs> All right. So, seven catches, 102 yards, touchdown last Friday, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And let's talk defense a little bit. You got a pick, too. I did get a pick towards the end. Okay. Had a couple tackles also. All right. So, they, did they go deep with you, or did or those screen passes continue to go for you? I had I had a couple deep balls. My touchdown was a deep ball. I caught a couple uh, screens and hitches. That's really it. Okay. Hey, you're getting a lot of catches. How do you keep from uh, them keying on you? I mean, I just do – I use my technique with Coach TD uh, talks to me about all the time, and I just try to get open, find an open space, and just take care of the ball from there. Okay, good deal. So uh, talk about your favorite play from this past Friday. Ooh, my favorite play, I'm not going to lie, is when I messed up. I was supposed to run a fade, but I inside released, and he pushed me inside to the linebackers. I caught the ball. It was like a 27-yard game. I just had to make something happen. So. Okay, that's good. You know, uh, we, we run out of things to talk about. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do today? I know, probably ask you some more questions. No, I'm not going to do that <laughs> to you. So let's talk about you. Outside of outside of football, what other what other sports have you played? So I've played, well, I ran cross country, ran track, played basketball. That's really it. My okay. goal for baseball this year. Okay. So you're just trying to get it all in there, huh? Yeah, got to. So you, you, you can't run cross country now, right, during football season? Yeah, I was going to, but then last year I did it. Like, I tried to do both. I did it for like four weeks, and it just was overwhelming for the body, so I had to pick one chose football so okay yeah you kind of kind of get, you get your specialty there why baseball this year I mean have you played baseball a lot in the past I did up until eighth grade and then in high school I stopped because I I, I was afraid to hit the ball well not hit the ball but get hit with the ball mm -hmm. so I might go pinch run this year so let me get this right you play football yep. and you got big big guys hitting you tackling you doing all that stuff but you're afraid to get hit by baseball yeah because the ball the baseballs are going like 80 miles per hour or something like that. 
no padding unless I just wear something, but it's all right. I don't think I'm going to hit it, any home runs anyway. So. Okay. So um, let's talk about something I saw here at practice today. So you have a tendency to like to bra – is that brag what it is, or you you talk trash? What's the deal? when? Because I'm watching you throw footballs to hit the crossbar, and I, I heard something about you said you could do that. I did say I could do that. You know? how, how did that go? <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't go in my favor. I was close a couple times, but I didn't. I didn't end up in it. Okay. So is that is that your thing? You like to kind of get underneath some things and try to. Is it is it just a fun thing, or you really try to irritate somebody? It's it's fun. I love talking trash. It's my favorite thing to do, and I like to see how people react when I do it. So okay. Sometimes I talk a little too much, and it it bites me in my butt. <laughs> that's that's two weeks in a row. You said some very insightful things, and I'm sure Coach Mattingly would agree with that. Hey man, congratulations again on another big week, and I, I guess if you do it again, we'll, we'll we'll have another one next week. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, take one, Townsend. He is our offensive feature of the week. All right, well, it's time to close out the show, and tonight's guest is uh, Micah Tyler. She's with Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. She's currently running for city council, which is in another week. So she's been, if you've seen her, she's walking around town, knocking on your door, putting okay. signs in people's yards. Signs, door hangers, showing up at places, trunk or treat. There you go. That's a big one. There That's you go. Weekend. Well, Micah, thank you for your willingness to support the Elizabethtown, uh, Elizabethtown Athletics and the quarterback club for the football team. Uh, tell us why you consider athletics important here at the high school. So, um, of course you have like the normal Andy that you, you know, team building, teaching responsibilities, all those great, you know, skills that, right. you know, kids are going to get when they're involved in athletics. But I kind of think about it a little bit differently and that goes back to, and I've told my kids and most other kids, um, my best high school memories the most memories i have at high school are come from me sitting in the stands cheering on yep. my classmates and totally my teammates agree. yep and so um you know i did play soccer for a few years in high school but and and we had a great program um and i think lindsay alickness has been on here and talking right. about those years but the best memories were sitting in the stands cheering on those teammates right so and and a lot of it kind of goes obviously i talk about community a lot right now um, and it takes all types of programs, um, yep. you know. So, so tying in the community, so what, what do high school athletics do for our community? Well, obviously they're going to be character builders for those students. Um, <clears throat> they're going to get, it's going to give them experience for what the real world um, has to offer them once they get out of yep. high school. Um, and I, our community does a good job of supporting they athletics, do. all athletics, not they just do. here at E-Town, but even the even yes. the county schools, they've got great supports from from different members of the of the town and, and Radcliffe and E-Town, and even from the county. But um, it's it's bigger here, I think, a little bit just because we're rooted in the smaller district that's here in E-Town. I think so too. And of course, my husband and I both graduated from E-Town, and um, and I think you mm -hmm. were away and you moved back as well. Um, and that kind of tradition right. is a big part of it. And the community part of it, though, is when you come back and you go to these games, and, and it's kind of funny because even after I moved away and I moved back before I had kids, it was kind of like, oh, well, I'll just go to a football game tonight, right. which right. a lot of people really probably wouldn't You're right. do that. You're but right. Well, I'm ending my, my deal with kids, but you've got two kids, right? I do. How old? I do. Eva is a freshman at okay. the high school, and Jack is in sixth grade. That blows me away because so, I didn't think she was a freshman yet. That makes me feel freshman. really old. Yep. Yep. I'm getting ready to graduate my last one, but um, it is special to come back from where you graduated from and then your kids go through yes. the same experiences, experience those kinds of things. So, um, well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for your Thank support. You. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Uh, okay. we, you, you know you've done a lot of hard work here over the last month. So, uh, well, we hope everyone has a great Halloween this week. Um, we, uh, we are looking forward to tomorrow night's action against Seneca. We do play Seneca tomorrow night uh, in Louisville at Seneca High School. Um, and uh, as always, have a great week. Good luck tomorrow night and go Big East.